Hi, my name is Cody Miller. I'm with the Precision Farming Division at Swiderski Equipment. Today I'm going to tell you about some extra features on your Gen 3 2020. Some of the other features that we can do with our Gen 3 2020 as well is we can keep track of our corn hybrids uh, as well as different liquid, liquid uh, applications that we're doing. So this is just an overview screen of the setup here. So it's going to give you kind of a basic config of what your planter is and then what hybrid and what fertilizer you're using. So in order to add different products on the right here, we're going to hit products and then seeding here, uh, just hit hybrid A. And then we can go from a database here. So if we're planting um, whatever hybrid you want to put in here, there's a database with thousands of different hybrids here. So we're just going to pick on this one here. And then once you have that selected, you can assign it to whatever rows you have that hybrid tied to. So if it's all of them, or if you're doing a split planter, you can do left or right, but we're just gonna assign it to all of them here. So now you can see that it assigned to all 12 rows, and then I will tell you what the hybrid is at the top here. So we're gonna click done. And then if we go back one screen, right here at the bottom left here where it says corn hybrid, it, it tied into that uh, hybrid that we had just chosen here. So some of the other things on the side here, uh, the equipment tab is just an overview of um, all the configurations and all of the items that are on your planner. And then systems tabs more dives into how it's getting controlled. So a lot of that stuff you guys won't have to, to worry about. Uh, the technicians with Swiderski will be able to take, that, take care of that for you. Under the uh, crops tab here, this is just what active crop we have here. So if we're going from corn to soybeans, we can just click this and then all of our default uh, seeds per disc and po populations will be in here. So we're gonna change this back to corn. Um, as well as under here, you can change all your alert levels uh, for both your liquid seeding, whatever you have in here. Uh, the diagnose screen is more for just diagnosing what's going on on the corn planter side. Uh, once again, you guys probably have to dive into there if you're having some issues and uh, having us help you with that. And then the data side is more for exporting and importing field data uh, for your Gen 3 2020. If you have any questions about what we covered today, you can contact myself or one of our team members with the Precision Farming Division at Swiderski Equipment. Or else you can visit us at SwiderskiEquipment.com.